Hi, my name is Chad Carnes with MCA Connect, and you're watching another episode of Five. Come on, give me five. Good minutes in Microsoft Dynamics AX. For the last 686 days, I have been the MCA Connect Fantasy Football Champion. Uh, and today, I want to show you the Power BI desktop. Okay, we're going to take some fantasy football data. It should, in order to ensure my three peat this year, uh, we're going to cut that up. I'm going to pass it through this new tool called Power BI Desktop. And this Power BI Desktop lets you visualize data and it lets you look at it across multiple platforms. Okay, and it's completely free. Uh, and really, what I want you to think about today is when you look at quarterbacks and you look at positions and you look at averages, I want you to think about shipments and sales and how this could transform your business ultimately getting the right data to the right people in a timely manner to most importantly make the right decisions. So we're going to go ahead and start at the beginning here and we're going to go and go to the Power BI site and you can do this by going to the Power BI desktop. I'm going to go ahead and hit download and what will happen here is you'll see an, an executable icon which will then create uh, your icon to log in. You're going to click on the icon to log in and you're going to say the first thing you're going to start out to say is get data. So now in past blogs, I've showed you how to get data from SQL uh, server databases through queries or through table pools. I've, I've showed you analysis services. Uh, we have showed, we've looked at Azure data. and But today, we're going to just pull um, directly from a fantasy football website, just a list right off the web. Okay, And here's our address. And we're going to pull this into our, uh, our uh, Power BI desktop. So what this is going to do is bring this list in, and then we can manipulate it. Uh, so here, here you see I, uh, I click the table that I want okay, from the website, and I drop the data in that I, uh, that I want to uh, build my reports off of. Okay? In Power BI Desktop, this is called a query. So now we're going to go to the video here, and the first page is where I build a report. Uh, the second tab that I'm clicking here shows the query. Okay? So this is just like Power BI uh, in Excel, to where I can have multiple queries. I can use DAX formulas. Here I can also build relationships. So you could have four or five tabs that you're connecting here in order to generate your data. So now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to build a report. And again, as you do this, I want you to think about uh, what AX data you're pulling now and what AX data you want to pull from the, pull in the future and how you can use this tool to publish this to multiple people. And again, you can build this dashboard in just like five good minutes. So here what I'm doing is I'm taking that data and I'm uh, just dragging some fields in. We're going to build a little uh, bar chart here okay, in order to look at uh, NFL teams by position to see, uh, to see what teams had the most uh, points last year and what positions really contributed to that. Okay, The next thing I'm going to do is build a little pie chart here. Okay, So what I want you to remember is, is think about your key metrics and your key, your key KPIs. And how could you build a model that you could build multiple reports off of? Okay, Just like we do with Power BI in Excel. Or, uh, or in SharePoint, okay? This works ju just like Power View, for those of you familiar with Power View. So now what I'm gonna do is build a little list page here, okay? So as I filter stuff in this report, it's gonna filter all three of these. So here I'm just gonna bring in a list of the teams. Uh, and if you notice, I'm, I'm, I'm on page two here. So I already went in here and tested this. I got page one, this is page two. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and add some filters to this, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And it saves as a file uh, locally, okay? But then what's great, and this is kind of the neat feature, is I can go ahead and publish this, okay? And, it, and when, I, when I publish this data, okay, it, uh, it's going to post up through your Microsoft 365 account, okay? And you have the ability to share from there as well. So now I'm putting the filters in so that I can filter by team, et cetera. And as you can see, just like Power View, okay, um, I have the ability to, to filter this data. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and publish, okay? So this is where it would ask you to log in, okay? Uh, and once I publish this data, okay, this is where this is where the tool really comes together, okay. And this is the exciting part, all right. So you have somebody locally publishing the data out to the world, okay. So now the first platform I'm going to log into is I'm just going to log into uh, my uh, Office 365 account, my Power BI desktop account, okay. And when I log in there, so now if I'm anywhere on the web, I now have access to this exact same data source, okay. Pretty cool. All right. Now what I can do, okay, is I could create dashboards in here, which I have. I've created a dashboard. And if I go to my report, okay, and I go to the little pin button, all I'm doing now is pinning this to a dashboard. Okay. So again, I created a very small report. Okay. I'm pinning this to a dashboard. Okay. And again, you've seen how I can look at this locally in Power BI Desktop. And now you're seeing how I can look at it in my Power BI 
uh, it just just via, via the web. Okay, so if I have any you know any kind of web access or web login, okay, I can easily see um, my report. So now you can see that I've pinned this. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, now I'm gonna click over into my dashboard, and you can see that all the data from my report now pins to my dashboard. Okay. So if I double click on these, I can it will then drill back down to the report. Okay, pretty neat. All right, now I can filter and it filters the graph. So I just filtered by I believe the the kickers. Okay, the kickers. All right. So so again, uh, I've looked at I've looked at the Power BI desktop locally. Now I'm looking at the dashboard. Now the neat thing is is now let's say that I have a uh, my I'm, I'm on my Surface Pro uh, two here, and I'm going to my Power BI application for my uh, window for Windows eight. Okay. Now if you notice when I click in here. Now all of a sudden I've got access to the exact same dashboard. Okay, pretty neat. But here's the exciting thing. Okay, I'm going to my iPhone. Yes, I have an iPhone. For those of you out there, okay. And uh, I did some screenshots of this. I have a power. They have a Power BI app. Okay, now the Power BI app just shows the desktop. But when I when I click on the Power BI app and it's free, uh, when I click on that and I log in, I'm so going to log in with my the same the same MCA Connect. Uh, 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 Office 365 account I have, and you'll notice there is my fantasy football dashboard. So I'm going to click on the fantasy football dashboard. Again, these graphs should look familiar. And what's really neat about uh, the functionality they put in here is when I double click on that and I drill into it, okay, I get some really cool interactive things happening on the dashboard. So what I want you to remember uh, as you're doing this is I want you to think about your data. I want to think. Of, I want you to think about how could I maximize sales. Or how can I maximize shipments? What are the key KPIs that I could have on a daily basis or on a real-time basis, uh, as long as they're published out? Okay, what could really help me make the right decisions? And I really, you know, want you to get past kind of the fantasy football data and really try to understand um, what data would help me grow uh, my business and how can I use this Power BI desktop application. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Five Good Minutes in Microsoft Dynamics AX. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed the. Uh, the, uh, the session. Hopefully you can uh, you can take Power BI Desktop, take your favorite queries that you're using in AX right now, implement them, and drive data to your entire team, your entire company, and organize it the way you want it. And hopefully, uh, and uh, we apologize for the delay. Uh, we've been busy with uh, this guy here uh, and, and, and traveling 48 weeks out of the year, but uh, we look forward to seeing you next time on 5 Good Minutes in Microsoft Dynamics AX.